one, two, three, four. We're the school with so much more. I'm doing a special welcome chart for the open day. Five, six, seven, eight. Our school's got quite a big gate. I'm still working on it. <laughs> so, you doing anything for the open day? Yep. Yeah. I've decided to be in the broom formation. You can't just decide to be in the broom formation, Hattie. They're doing trials this afternoon. They only pick the best fires from each year. And your point is? You might not get it. Of course I will. Who else is there? Me. See that? It's a new broom my grandmother sent me. Biodynamic birch, hand cured by the Norse witches, and it comes with the best manoeuvring and stopping spells. And I'm allowed to carry it. Pity you don't have a broom like that, Hubble. Gives me such an unfair advantage. Maybe my broom's not fancy, but do you know what? My cousin Mildred flew it for years and it never let her down. Glad to see you're putting up a fight, Hubble. It'll make crushing you even more enjoyable. There is no way I'm letting her win. Kim Pistum Navigatus. Hi, Caspian. What are you doing? Oh, just a spot of menial labour for your wretched open day. I've got to clear leaves. Me, the senior librarian. If only I could remember that blasted wind spell. Decidious Etherealis Navigatum Materialis. <laughs> Belladonna bindweed. Wonderful descent. Beautiful turning and lovely clean lines. Yes, I've never seen her fly so well. And next we have Henrietta Hubble. I don't expect this is going to take too long. I'm glad it's your turn, Hubble. I'm in the mood for a good laugh. Well, you'd better make it quick because you're not going to like what happens next. Hover. Time to watch the expert at work. Up and away. Typhoonium Ethereal,is Navigatum Materialis. I do steer it. Orientalis. Hubble's technique is alarmingly sloppy, but she flies with passion, Miss Harbrum. Surely that counts for a lot. Occidentalis. Straight for Hetty. Boomerang! Hover. What was that? Extraordinary! Exquisite. Incredible. <laughs> Okay, Caspian. Yes, I can actually see, you know. They think I did it on purpose. Descend. Now, about these blasted leaves. Isn't this your job? Yes. Which is why I'll be supervising. That was absolutely breathtaking. Magnificent. <laughs> no one's done a levitating boomerang broom for... For 50 years. Not since uh, Arminta Hexley Gore was a pupil here. Arminta Hexley Gore? <laughs> and even she was a fifth year when she did it. Wait. <laughs> you see, what really happened was... Uh, yes. yes. What... What happened was... I have some really great teachers and that's why I'm OK at flying. <laughs> Okay. You're a real talent. A virtuoso of the brown. There has been a marked improvement. Finally, all my hard work is paying off. Fashion, Miss Harbrum. That's the answer. That's settled then. Hetty Hubble will represent the first year in the brown formation. And because of her superb effort, I'm also awarding Hetty three stars towards the golden broomstick. <laughs> Hattie! Hattie! That was brilliant! Yeah! You were so brave! 
brave. <laughs> I was quite bad, wasn't I? Everyone's saying you're the best fly in the whole academy. Hubble! I don't know how you did it, but I'm going to find out. What? Don't give us that innocent act. You don't just pull a stunt like that out of thin air. You cheated. How could you say that? Hetty will never, ever cheat. She's truthful, honest, and her aura is spotless. Don't worry, Cressy. She's just a sore loser. Tell you what, Belladonna. Why don't you give you some broom lessons? Could I have broom lessons too, Hetty? What? I want to be good at broom. Coming from girls. Oh, Hetty, heard about your flying. Fabulous. Always knew you'd do great things. Thank you, Miss Sweep. Pleased with yourself? <laughs> A bit, yeah. You've been telling everyone that you did the levitating boomerang thing. But I did. Half the school saw me. No. They saw you getting caught up in the wind that Caspian created. You mean...? You haven't told anyone, have you? Of course not. Because you're going to. But, Mona, I got one up on Belladonna, which she totally deserved, and I'm back in the race for the golden broomstick. Why do you want to mess it all up? Because I'm your friend. A real friend? But well, stop bothering me and mind your own business. Is that what you really want? Whatever you're getting out of this, I hope it's worth it. Gosh! Hetty! Miss Cackle, Miss Harbroon, there's something I need to tell you. And we have something to tell you. Arminta Hexley Core is coming to open day. Oh, she's heard about your flying. She wants to see it for herself, and she's up in the air right now. It's a great privilege. Arminta Hexley Core moves in the highest witch circles, and if she's impressed, who knows what it could mean for cackles. Powerful sponsors. Pupils from the best witch families. And it's all thanks to you, Hetty. <gasps> what was it you wanted to tell us, dear? Um, I just wanted to say that I'm really glad I'm in the broom formation. Oh, no, no, no. We're dropping the broom formation. Really? So we can showcase your levitating boomerang technique. You'll be the centrepiece of open day. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> I bought you a donut. Jam. I better do my homework. I've got to work on a spell for a wind that's strong enough to hold up a person. You must think I'm pretty dim. What? I know why you need a wind spell. It's so you can repeat that little flying trick that everybody's talking about, right? You thought that I'd tell you if you bribed me with donuts. But unfortunately for you, it's very difficult to bribe a wizard. Um. Page 83. This is Arminta Hexbegle. Hello. Bit young for boomeranging, aren't you? Well, I would rather do it at my age than at your age. <laughs> Good answer! <laughs> you should be respectful when addressing Miss Hexley Gore. She's the finest flyer ever to attend the Academy. And if we are very, very lucky, she may even demonstrate the levitating boomerang herself. No, today is Hetty's day. And wise old ladies know when it's time to make room for a new generation. Exquisite modesty. Mona? 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 Okay, I cheated. I didn't mean to, and I was going to tell the truth, but then Miss Cackle gave me the broomstick stars and everyone made such a fuss. It was just too hard to back out. 
And if I don't do the levitating thing, you'll let the whole academy down. Exactly. Or break Hackle's heart. Mona, I really need your help. Tricky. On the one hand, it's wrong to cheat. Oh, I've so learnt that lesson. But on the other hand, you have to protect the reputation of the academy. So? Assuming E, an ethical constant, and guilt divided by duty times personal anxiety equals... Interesting. What? Well, the numbers say I should help you. Typhoonimum, Ethereal,is Navigatum, Materialis. It works. Traversimum, Occidentalis. Hey, Mona. I've seen Hattie. Hattie, watch out. I made her a good looking. Oh. Typhoonimum, Nilimus, Atmospherium, Stilimus. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry about your cake. It's completely organic and sugar-free. Mmm, delicious. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, remember when Hetty did that levitating boomerang thing? Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Hawthorne, to Cackles again. <laughs> Mistress Cassidy! Yeah. 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 I can't believe it. Cheating. Such bad karma. But I did it for the Academy. But you cheated the first time and that was for yourself. Mm, delicious. And I thought you were so great. Pressy. You let me think you were so great. But you're not. You're just not. Better go after her. We'll fix Cressy later. Right now I need to figure out a plan. Anyone fancy a nice cup of decaying pond slap? No, thank you. So, tell us, Cressy, is it easy to make friends with the other girls here? Oh, yeah. It's easy to make friends, but then you have to ask yourself, are they real friends? Do you know what I mean? Oh, right. How can you tell? I mean, you put your trust in them, you think they're so great, and then they cheat, and then they lie. Three, four, Three, four, five, six. Watch out for fine fruit Hey. It wasn't me. It wasn't. You think you really know them and they're fine if we let you down. But I try not to be bitter. Um, who fancies some of that decaying pond slap? So as soon as you give me the signal, I'll send the wind straight up. Great. And Mona? What? Thank you. Mona, I know what you're doing here. Trying to save the school's reputation? Cheating with that spell, and it's not right. You should never ever cheat. I agree. Curious, Dixmus, Immobilus, Trapdixmus. Mona? It's a bad witch mobilizing spell. Cool, isn't it? You look a bit tense, Hallo. <laughs> oh, and don't worry, it will definitely stop her cheating. I do. I don't know how to get the spell off. I have to warn Hetty. Ready, Henrietta? Remember, Hetty, a cackles girl doesn't buckle under pressure. Miss Swoop, don't make her nervous. It's very important that you just relax, Hetty, because the whole academy is depending on you. Um, I just need a minute to send to myself. Of course, of course. And don't worry, I won't let you down. I'm still not talking to you, but I do need to tell you something. Belladonna's putting a mobilizer spell on Mona. What? You won't have your magic cheat and win now, so you're gonna have to pull the whole thing off. Well, it's too late for that. 
I can't let everyone down. What are you talking about? You can't levitate without the wind. Maybe I can. I am Indy did it. Yeah, one person ever. Don't be crazy, Hetty. You could really hate yourself. Mother, up and away. Hetty! <sighs> Guess who's going to swoop in and steal the glory? Who? Hey. Me, you idiot. Hover. Up. And away. And the weather forecast today is for showers. Of Hubbles. OK, I can do this. Doing this. I'll probably be reincarnated as an earwig. Somebody help me, I'm falling! <laughs> Typhoonium, Ethereum, Navagatum, Materialis! such talent, such bravery, such passion. And a talent like that deserves to be seen. So I'm inviting Hetty to show off her broom skills at the annual World Conference of Witches in Geneva next month. Well done, Hetty. It's a great honour for the Academy. I've got something to say too. I'm not going to go to the World Conference because I don't want to disgrace the Academy. You see, the thing is, I cheated. <gasps> the first time I did the levitating boomerang was an accident. I flew right into the magic wind that Caspian had created, and that's what held me up. I should have told the truth straight away, but I didn't. And then our Minta was coming, and I didn't want to let the Academy down, so I decided to cheat. And today, Cressy made the wind. She didn't want to because she's very honest, but she had to, so I wouldn't hurt myself. Wow, cool spell. I am really sorry. I'm very sorry. You will be sorry, Henrietta Hubble. Wait! I have something else to say. I have never done the levitating boomerang either. I also cheated. Though I used an anti-gravity spell, which I think you'll find offers superior control. But, but you're Arminta Hexley Gore. One of the greatest witches in oh, the history. Yes, but I was a girl once, and a little wild. So my teachers didn't approve of me. So when I got a chance to be the best at something, I simply couldn't resist and I cheated. But unlike Hetty Hubble, I never had the courage to confess. I hope you won't punish Hetty too severely, because I think she's been very, very brave. Not as brave as you, though. You didn't have to say anything. I was just thinking the same thing, Hetty. You've shown great strength, Arminta. Aren't we getting off the point? Henry Hetty Hubble has cheated and must be severely punished. You're right, Miss Hartbrook. Remove the three golden broomstick stars I awarded Hetty for her flying, and remove another two for cheating. And I think perhaps we should let the matter rest at that. 
Miss Harbour and Miss Cackle, I have some dreadful, dreadful news. I'm afraid somebody has let the Academy down very badly. You see, Hetty Hubble cheated. She had a magic wind. Oh, the little sneak. Will I turn her into a dung beetle? <sighs> Thanks. But I like things the way they are. Well, isn't somebody going to do something? Back to normal. Chrissy. Thanks, Chrissy. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. That's what friends are for. Isn't that right, Mona? Mona? Help! Somebody, help! Somebody, help!